Uh, Jamie, how would you assess the first two games of the season? Obviously, you appointed Chester, followed by appointed Dalek. And how would you assess the uh, the overall performances? Um, I think they've been very positive. Um, obviously, you know we've picked up two points. I think the positive to take is we're still unbeaten. Um, we, looking and looking back on it, you know we would have been. We wouldn't have been disappointed to have taken four six points because I think the performances have warranted that. Um, I know we scored late against Darlow and they might feel a bit hard done by that it was a late goal, but you know on on a whole we were definitely the better team. We created a lot of chances, same at Chester, um, but we started well and we just want to get them first three points on the board. Your third season with the club now. How do you see your role now? Do you see yourself as a bit of a lead in the dressing room and on the pitch? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, obviously, it's, it's been great this year that I've got a pre-season under my belt. I think last year was very frustrating that obviously I had to get a double hernia in, in, in the summertime and, mi and miss a lot, large chunk of pre-season. Um, but, you know, when the new boys come in, you've, you've got to integrate them, you've got to make them feel welcome and make sure they're enjoying the time. Um, there's a bit of character building goes in there. You know, M Matthew Gold, I'm sure I'll will inform you on what's been happening with him and stuff. But, um, you know, the new lads have been fantastic. They've come from a higher level. Um, but you know your performances when you're out there. You know I've been at this club now three years, and I know I know what it means to the people in and around the club. I know how much effort goes into it. You know, and you you want to go out and you want to make sure that we're performing at the highest um, level we can. You know, and I want to be a big part of that. Um, like you say, it's my third season, and you know, still hungry for success like the previous two years. And obviously, the start of the season, August in particular, is a really busy month. You're playing games every three, four days. Is it difficult to find a balance? Obviously, you semi-professional footballers you're working as well and playing every couple of days. Is that really physically demanding? It is, yeah. Unless you're Rob Ramshaw, who doesn't have to work. Um, but no, it is. You're right. Um, on a on a serious one, it, it is right. You, you've got to find out. You've got to make sure you're prepared and ready. You know, there's there's full-time teams at this level, and um, you've got to be able to compete against them. And where we want to be is, you know, the, the top half of the Conference North. And um, if you want to be in there, you've got to make sure that you know you you. You're looking after yourself more as a pro than a, than a semi-pro, and, and whether that's you know getting the right food in you, training properly, you know training away from the club, you've got to do all them things to make sure that you're ready come Saturday, Tuesday when the games are coming thick and fast that you're ready to perform. And of course, last season we just missed out on the playoffs on the final day of the season, the final minute of the season. Do, as players, do you, do you still think about their moments? And is obviously the goal to get in the playoffs this season? Do you have higher ambitions? Yeah, of course. I think um, you know the manager said it when we first come back. You you look to improve as an individual. You look to improve as a team every single year. And you know you look around the place. The, the club's improving. It, it, it's grown all the time, and we've got to be matching that on the pitch as well. Um, you know, it was very, very disappointing. Um, you know, I think mentally and physically we were drained come the last few games of the season. Um, but you know, we're fresh now. We, we've come back. And we're still looking for that first win, which hopefully we can grab today. But you know, we're preparing and we're doing things properly. And we've got a great backroom staff there who's, you know, pushing us and looking after us. And um, as players, you know, we, we want to reward them and get the three points.